So I'm going to be doing a review of my uh, new katana. It's the uh, Mount Fuji katana. And let's go ahead and get it out of the uh, sword bag. I like how it's got the kind of bloody slashing look going down the uh, scabbard. Let's take a look at the uh, Subaru real quick. Nice Mount Fuji. Some Oriama writing. I'm assuming probably has something to do with Mount Fuji since it's the Mount Fuji katana and has a picture of Mount Fuji. Would only make sense. On the other side, it's got the. Uh, like a samurai warrior, he's holding like a scepter type thing in his hand. Pretty cool. Um, the uh, I believe it's the Suka, it's called. It's pretty long compared to your standard, comes out to 13 and a half inches some uh, specs on the sword. Hold on real quick, let me get it out the sheath. Alright, so according to the internet, overall length of 42 and 5 eighths of an inch with a uh, 26 and 3 fourths of an inch blade. It said that the, uh, the thickness of the spine came out to 7.4 millimeters which equaled out to 0.291339 in inches so a little bit over a quarter inch but a little bit less than a third of an inch kind of in between so fairly thick I guess and I don't know I, have, I don't have a lot of katanas to compare it to um, the price on this is around 70 bucks um, give or take. I've seen some places have it as high as 120 but on average usually it's like 70 or 80 bucks. I picked it up on eBay for like 56 or 57 or something like that and then like 12 bucks shipping. It ended up being like $69 and like 74 cents or something. So 70 bucks all said and done. But Cult of Athena has it for 70 plus shipping and I think True Swords and some other places have it. Even Amazon has it so... <laughs> Let's uh, let's check out the edge. Let's give it a little little test. minute we'll see how it does against some uh, water bottles but before that I just wanted to show you the cool pattern on the blade I don't believe it's like Damascus steel or anything like that it's just the way they ground it or maybe they like chemically treated it I've read online sometimes they do that to give it that look um, for the price point I highly doubt it was like folded a bunch of times and I know it's a carbon steel probably somewhere between like, 1045 and 1065 or something but it didn't have the the exact specifications it just said I think like high carbon steel or medium carbon steel or something like that I forget all right let's uh, let's start some chopping so I got me a few different bottles here ranging in thickness so we're going to start out there and work our way up. Last one. 
trying to be a little too quick. User error didn't quite go through, but it cut pretty good on the first few. Next up, your traditional water bottle. Exactly clean cut, but then again, I hit it kind of an awkward spot. Time it went most of the way through. I think part of it is I'm in fear of launching this stuff over the fence into my neighbor's yard. Let me change the angle and set up and we'll get back to cutting. Alright, so I apologize about the sun, but sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. Nice cut. Didn't go all the way through though. So uh, clearly I don't have the right technique or uh, milk bottles are the best. But I think it's doing alright. Let's keep going. Again, another good slice. 
but it didn't go all the way through. fairly sharp. Here, one last thing I forgot to show in the beginning of the review. I'm not showing the pattern of the blade. So it's got that waviness, but then when you get to the tip, it's ground down for better stabbing capabilities. So that's pretty good. With that blood groove. I probably don't have a good enough camera, but you'll just have to believe me that there's no damage or nicks or anything to the blade. Which, to be honest, is pretty expected. I was only cutting water bottles. It's not like I'm hacking through sheet metal or chopping rocks in half. So, I'll give you one last look at the blade. coloring to this and then like the uh the extra long uh, I forget the name again Suba or Suki Suki something Suka there we go I had to uh go back and look at my notes but yeah I liked the uh, the extra long Suka design on the handguard Suba or Suku or whatever. Like the price point. So yeah, I went for uh, looks and price. And it had pretty decent quality considering. It's definitely not in a $200 katana or $2,000 katana, but for the price range, for being under 100 bucks, I think it's probably one of the better ones. You could. There's a lot worse katanas out there for the price. So, I'm pretty happy with my purchase. Put it back in the scabbard for one final viewing. So, there it is. The Mount Fuji uh, katana. Thanks, hope you enjoyed.